number one Iron Age booty daddy. Anytime that you criticize anything on the internet, you're most likely going to get a lot of comments, either for your opinion or against your opinion. And in this case, I received a lot of comments, both kind of like, I don't agree with you, but I agree with your right to say it. But I received a comment that caused me to question what I was saying. You see, ladies and gentlemen, I was wrong. There was something that I got categorically wrong. And I hope that you guys know when I say on this channel, if I'm wrong, I will absolutely correct the record. And we're talking about a video that I did most recently about my concerns for ISOM and the release of ISOM 2. So ladies and gentlemen, if you guys like what I do here, please, I would absolutely love it if you would like this video, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. But without any further ado, let's get into it. So a little over a week ago now, I put out a video talking about my concerns for ISOM 2 and its release and wondering whether or not it will be good. Uh, and some people pointed out accurately, they're like, you're not really asking if it's gonna be good, you're asking if you're gonna like it. And that's a fair distinction. But I did receive a comment, and I will put it up here, and I should probably read the name of the comment. Guys, I'm doing this one a little bit more off the cuff than normal because this is very, very important, okay? And this is Cotter Dan 321 And in his comment, he made me rethink a scene in Isom. And I went, huh. Because I was talking about how Isom doesn't feel like a character that necessarily cares about people. Like he wouldn't help a grandma pick up her groceries if she dropped them. And his description of a specific scene in Isom made me go, you know what? I, I, it's been a while. I should probably re, re go through that because the last time I picked Isom up was in December. I did it twice. I believe in November was when I did my review of the book. And then I went through it again in December. And then I've kind of thumbed through it a few times since then. But here is the critical part. So I went through and I saw the scene where Isom talks with Jasmine. He meets her on the street and he does show care and empathy for her. And he just wants to make sure that she's not in a bad situation that she you know, is being forced into. And I had the thought, I was like, well, wait a minute, let me swipe forward a few pages here because he gets his butt kicked and then he decides that, oh, he doesn't care and he's just going back for his pride. So as I started flipping forward through Isom, which I'm flipping backwards now, but you guys get the gist. I go, well, wait a minute, he's not getting his butt kicked here. This is the second fight. Ladies and gentlemen, I do not know what my mind did or why it did it, or when it did it, probably a few months ago when I started having this thought, I inverted plot details in my head. I thought that Isom got beat up and lost that fight after he met Jasmine. And so my entire video, not the entire video, there are still some other things that I, there are still other issues that I have with Isom, but one of the most critical ones, the critical one that made me very nervous for the book, I was 100% wrong on. You see Isom in the book goes, talks with Darren and his crew and gets his butt handed to it then, handed to him then, and then after that, he goes and he meets Jasmine on the street. Once that happens, he then goes and does the second fight. But ladies and gentlemen, I did something that I didn't realize that I did. I had thought he met Jasmine before he got beat up and then thusly made the ultimate decision to go for his pride. You see, I inverted plot details in my mind and I don't know why I did that. I have no clue what happened there. I, it wasn't something that I did intentionally. It's probably just the fact that Time is the enemy of memory, and I misremembered the plot details of the book. So, like I have said here many, many times on the channel, if I make a mistake, it's up to me to correct the record. And I made a massive mistake here. There are still other things in the book that I have issues with, but none so great as this issue that I had when I inverted the plot details, which had Isa met the girl and then said, screw the girl, it's time to go, you know, or not screw, you guys got uh, be gone with her, you know, 
and then it's time to fight for my pride, that would have been a very different story. But it's not. It's the opposite. He said he was going to go fight for his pride, and then when he met Jasmine on the street, showed care and empathy for her. I was wrong. I don't know why my mind did that. And to be perfectly honest, if I were doing my due diligence when I started thinking about this and my opinion started to sour even more, even after months, uh, I should have gone back and picked up the book and read it again. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I'm only human. And yeah, I appreciate everybody who came into the comments, challenged me on this. And even those people that said, you know what, I get where you're coming from. Because I, I, I think, you know, Isom's not the perfect character and there are still some other things about the book that uh, could have been better. But this was a critical thing for me that made me really nervous. And Cotter Dan made a comment to me that made me re-question the scene, that made me remember the scene better in more detail. And then when I opened the book finally, which is what I should have done, I went back and realized, oh my God, I, I was basing this one thing that I really didn't like months later off of, I don't know, misremembering the plot details. So I hope all of you enjoy being here on A Drink With Crazy, and I am going to get things wrong. But the cool thing is, is I have a group of people, a community out there that are willing to comment to me, talk with me, tell me that I'm wrong, and inform me and make me better at doing this. So thank you to everyone out there. And until next time, and until my next mistake, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well, so click that link while you're down there. See you next time.